In this video, we show how to use the procedure in Lemo 1.55 to convert the regular expression A B star union A into an NFA. So notice that that procedure is recursive. Um, we make NFAs for single symbols, and then we use the closure constructions to build them up into more complicated NFAs, representing more complicated regular expressions. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to decompose this regular expression into its components so that we can then apply these closure constructions. So let's name our regular expression R, and it was AB star union A. And notice that this is the union of two other regular expressions. We're going to call them R1 union R2. Okay, so uh, what is R1? R1 is AB star. What is R2? It's just A. Okay, so that one can't be decomposed further, but R1 can. Okay, R1 is the concatenation of two regular expressions. Let's call them R2, actually, because the first one we've already seen before, and R3. Okay, what's R3? It's going to be B star. Okay, so R3 is taking the star closure of another regular expression. Let's call it R4. So R3 is R4 star. What's R4? It's the single symbol B. Okay, so now we have all of our regular expressions broken down so that we can start with single symbols, A and B, for regular expressions R2 and R4, and then we can uh, use these closure operations to build up until we get our, until we get R, until we get our regular expression R. So let's make some room, and let's start making our small NFAs corresponding to our small regular expression. So the NFA for R2, which was just A, looks like this. Okay. And the regular expression for R4, I'm going to put it over here so I can save room, which is just B, looks like this. Okay, so now we've done R4 and R2. So with R4, R3, we take the star closure, um, and so we do the construction that allows us to do that. So R3, where do I want to put it? Let's put it down here. R3 was just R4 star. Okay, so remember with the star closure, we're allowed to accept on epsilon. So the first thing our machine should be able to do is accept on epsilon. And otherwise, it's going to epsilon over to our machine R4. So let's bring that in. And if it makes it through, it's allowed to go through the machine for R4 again. So we're allowed to go back to the start state of the machine for R4. Notice that's different than the start state of the machine R3. And repeat as many times as it would like. Okay, so that's our NFA for the regular expression R3. So once we have R2 and R3, we can make R1. So let's make R1. R1 is equal to R2, R3. R2, R3. Okay, so the first thing this machine has to do is make it through the machine for regular expression R2 and then it can make it through the machine for R3. So we're going to do a concatenation. Notice that we have to follow up with the string from R3. We can't just accept uh, once we've reached the accept state for the machine for R2. So we're going to have to lose that accept state. So what I mean is, here's R2. Okay, and I'm going to make that a non-final. So force it to have to go through the machine R3, the machine for regular expression R3 in order to accept. So now I add my concatenation part. So epsilon just allows me to concatenate these two machines together. And now I put on the machine for regular expression R3. Oh, 
This should have been an epsilon up there. Okay, so that's R1. So this chunk right here was R2. This is our concatenation part. And this chunk was R3, was the machine for R3. So I'm kind of abusing terminology a little bit. I'm not saying that that's a regular expression. I'm saying that that's an NFA for the regular expression. I'm just labeling it with the regular expressions just to keep it clear. Okay. So last, now that we have R1, we can make the machine for regular expression R. We have machines for all of the component pieces. So just to keep things clear, I'm gonna make some space. So here we have the union of regular expressions R1 and R2. So we're gonna take the union of the machines for regular expressions R1 and R2. So let me copy down R1 Hopefully I'm not introducing any errors and not intending to change it. That looks correct. And then I'm going to copy down the machine for R2. Okay, and then union just says, given a new final state, or a new start state, I'm sorry, a new start state, you can epsilon over to either the machine for R1 or you can go over to the machine for R2. So we bring in Epsilon transitions. Okay, and so now this is an NFA uh, for accepting or recognizing the language of R, the language of that regular expression.